And that's a perfect example of my bad shot. Oh, that's it's gonna go left, yeah. Trying to kill it that's you it. hanging back. <laughs> a little bit better, but you didn't turn yeah, it. I can actually yeah. feel so the I'm gonna give you the sensation I want you to create, right? Hello guys, welcome back to the channel, right? We are actually at Howley Hall here. Massive thank you to Ryan Rastel, who's let us use um, this amazing studio here at Howley Hall because technically it's still raining and everywhere is shut. But luckily, Ryan's let us use this. So massive thank you to Ryan and Howley Hall. Um, and Chris has travelled up um, for our lesson. We are doing nothing confusing today. We've had uh, also off the back of a few good rounds, obviously the good round of Golf Life against Jimmy and Ange, which is amazing. Thank you for all the comments on that. Um, but then I played the Four Brothers. You would have seen that video on my channel where some bad shots were in there. So yeah, we're just going to have a little, what we call like a... A little MOT, we're just gonna have a little look at irons, a little look at the ladder drill, and a little look at driver, and just go through them, yeah? And little development. Little, little development. tiny things in winter, nothing too confusing, just literally little tiny bits for me to go and work on for the next two, three weeks. Let's like say we are gonna, I will be working a lot during the winter, um, so yeah, we'll try and film as many lessons as we can, just so you guys can see what I'm working on. The end goal, obviously, is to scratch handicap. After that round with Jimmy, and after the level par round, and after um, another comp I played at Close House the other day, the current handicap has flew down from about 4.8 to 2.1. Yes, somehow I have managed to get to a 2.1 handicap. Just thanks to this man. Welcome back, Christoph. Let's go. Uh, yeah, by the way, we've been working together now, what, two, two years, two and a bit years? Two years. It's mental. So it's not all me. It's, no, it's no, just no. this man. No, it's not. It no. is. We've got to give Chris some credit, guys. Get in the comments. He is an amazing coach. He's done really well for me. So, yeah, thank you for that. Pleasure. And like I said, today we'll do a little, what we do is like MOT. I think it's really important as well. A lot of people say, oh, guys, you put the work in and blah, blah. Yes, we have done a lesson a month. Yep. We missed a few months last summer, but we've done a lesson a month pretty much for nearly two years, isn't it? Consistency, like yeah. time, like consistency is everything. I think people think you're gonna get one lesson and then go off and play amazing for six months. It's not the case. Like even though I've just had the round of my life against Jimmy and I'm three under through nine, I'm still here, still working on certain things. And you'll see that today. You'll see the little things we're working on and you'll be like, ah, oh. and then hopefully we can get more consistent. And like I said, it's a game of misses, isn't it? 100%, avoid complacency. Even if you're playing well, keep hammering the drum. Just keep doing it, keep doing the same stuff. Right, let's jump in. We'll crack on. Right, so tune up wise, we're just going to go. So we've got irons, 100 yards in, driver, and then we're just going to have a literally like a tune up. Yep. Yeah, make sure everything's. Swing MOT. An MOT. Get the garage. Ball flight, pretty neutral we're going for. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't, want, it, I don't want it to. Like, like I said, that, when I was on about the um, with golf life video and tubes and that. Like I said in that video, I don't, I don't want to be hitting big draws. I don't want to be hitting big fades. If it goes straight, it goes straight. If it draws a little bit, it draws a little bit. It fades a little bit, it fades a little bit. As long as, it, as, long as that deviant is 10 yards-ish, that's 30 foot in it. So just an interesting observation, the first two swings, right? Your low point is way better. So there's no... There's weird, no it? But sometimes just an understanding of something, right? So we really dove into it last time. It was quite a difficult conversation at times, but you were like one after the ball. That one there was 4.2 after, the one before was 3.9. Mm -hmm. So just an understanding of it, like the data is, it doesn't lie, right? So it means your swing has moved forward roughly three inches. Now last time we said about like being more centered or leaning left, I mean the first couple of swings are money. Money, really neutral, paths, Slightly from the inside, face is slightly close to the path. It's like a, a nine foot draw, three yards. I mean, can't go wrong with that. I think that one might have gone a bit right, a push. But not bad. Not bad, so the path is slightly too much from the, from the inside for a neutral ball. Yes. So takeaway on the last two have been just ever so slightly on the inside. So okay. just feel a bit wider, tiniest bit wider. That was pure. Yeah, so the one previous was 4.5 from the inside. That was three degrees. So when I get that little blocky one or the little over draw, it's just because I haven't gone wide enough. Look at the difference, right? So this, this is the one where it goes a little bit in. Yeah. The one before, the one after, it's just a little bit wide. Still slightly in, but much less. Like an inch. That's what it takes though, is yeah. it's a degree, right? It's, it's a slight degree. Feel a little bit wider, 
almost connect to something. So this track man, yeah. see the green dot? Feel like your hands work wide towards the green dot. How, you feel like you did it? No, I fell back a bit. Interesting to see the lower point. Oh no, it's right. Look at the club path, five degrees, right? So, so still too that, far in. But that went, I felt like I went wider there as well. No, it didn't, it didn't. Club yeah. head, club head towards green light. Very simple. That was definitely wider in the takeaway. You might have hung back a touch. So I mean lower point might be one. Oh, no, but look at the path, that's two. <coughs> so that is it, right? If you, you like the sensation of being wide, you're playing really good. The length and the width at the top are brilliant. Yeah. Just make sure that you don't get the club head too early inside the hands. So this is where we've discussed this before, right? Oh, so I can say, yeah, 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 if yeah. I go wide, but you that do, goes yeah. in. Yeah, so then ultimately imagine that, that's now inside the hands. You've got to find a way yeah. to get it out or you leave it there and block it a little bit. So just feel like if you get, get yourself there, just do your takeaway. Do your wide feel that you like, nothing changes. And just feel like there's a little bit less roll, like less for your hands. Right. Just be, it's all one, it's one piece. Everything moves more together, slowly. There you go, like that. That's what, still wide, but you haven't now added this bit. Okay, that's where that comes from. Yeah, so now just feel that. Do a slow one, don't go for full. So towards me, just feel like the wrists do a little bit less in the takeaway. How'd that feel? Stroke felt better. Kind of higher. Three point, like low points money. Three degrees, perfect, you could do it. So let's just now, as a, a matter of like exploring, Let's see how wide you can get. Forget the outcome for a moment. That's going to be your plane swing, right? Yeah, yeah. Let's see if we can get one close to zero. So try and go even so a slightly wider than that. With the club head. So with the club head, yeah, not the yeah, hands. Yeah, yeah. The hands are perfect. So the way I like to feel it is the butt of the club. Be like that, won't it? Feel the butt of the club. Yeah. Point it at your right pocket. Yep. Well done. That felt weird, right? So you didn't go as wide, but the club head fell. Right. So now keep the hands wide with that feel. And that's so you're having me. Some left arm stage. Kind of left arm straight, still the same. That's your feeling that you like, right? Keeping yeah. the left arm straight. But the club just head don't... stays out, not. Yeah, I'm so not conscious of the club head. Let me just demo for a second, right? So it, we've got to keep this quite simple. Yeah. I just don't want to add any of this twisting motion with the left arm. So if I just go back towards the trap man, I want everything to feel like it moves wide and together. See, I'm not adding nothing to my wrist, I'm not doing anything. I might just roll them a little bit. So you love the wide feel, but you're just adding a little bit of right. movement with the wrist. Yeah. Pure, much better much more passive the thing is sometimes like you get to a point and this is something really worth there's there's such thing as over coaching and i've said this before in another video gaz has said to me at the start i feel really good he's just come off his best round on youtube with, with jimmy and that the only thing we've seen is the path would get sometimes a little bit too much from the inside so he'd occasionally hit the block or the overdraw ultimately if he sets the club head too early inside he's, he's pre-setting that path so he has to then rely on it manipulating so we're just going to get a little with his nice wide feel Keep the hands a bit more passive. Easy peasy. It's definitely more neutral. Lovely. Three degrees, tiny little draw swing, low points now, north of three, every shot. Last lesson, we remember it's it was all one. But you said something at the start, your intent is intention. You said I've I been trying to get back. through it. Yeah. yeah. Just trying not to hang back. Sometimes just trying not to hang back is enough. <laughs> or just finishing my swing. Whatever that may if be. I, if I find if I go like here or whatever, and go there and go, and here, I'm hanging back. If I'm, my thought is like, if I can just finish my swing every time, I feel it, like obviously you just finish your yeah. swing, you push forward. Worst thing I think we do is hit the ball, look at it and go, oh no, yeah. and yeah. you stop. 100%, 100%. It means I finish my swing every time, no matter what. You can notice that in the last 12 months, right? If you look at your videos from say 18 months ago, your follow through is so different now. Yeah. You like to, almost like you pose, but it's, it's in an effort to actually just finish the movement. Yeah. And just sometimes a good thing, like you can talk about movements so you go blue in the face, but matching what you're trying to do to an intention. So Gaz's intention is to finish his swing. Obviously, in order to do that, he's shifting more left, which is moving the low point one or two inches further forward. And as a byproduct of that, his contact has improved. So just making sure that your intention is, is aligned with what you're trying to do from a factual perspective. And then just finish. Lovely, little tiny draw. Oh. No wonder you're shooting under par, mate. I yeah, know. Let's keep doing that. I am. Right. Ladder drill. So slightly early on the strike. 
Yeah, that's, that's, that's what we need to sort out. Yeah, okay. Look at right. yeah. the low point. This is this is that's, that's a perfect example of my bad shot. For, I hit a, I've hit a short par four. I've hit a drive. I've got 45 yards in. I'm thinking I'm getting close, and I, I do I do that. Okay, so if we just put two pieces of data on the screen, <coughs> right? All we need to sit, we need to track is your attack angle. Yeah. And your low point. So rule of thumb: average tour players are somewhere between six and eight degrees down. Daniel. Yeah. <laughs> Victor Hovland now is, you know, with his new coach, has just moved to like 10 to 14 down with chip shots, right? I'm, I'm not saying you need to be that much, but yeah, yeah. for you, you can see if I just take all of these off, because they're not even important. Even carry distance at this point, we'll leave it on there, but that's the least important. Right, so we've got three metrics at the bottom. Yep. Okay, you carried that 42, but that's because you're on a mat. Outside wet ground, that's going half distance, yeah? So your low point was 0.5 after, and you only hit half a degree down, right? So we know we need to be hitting down into our iron. So set yourself up. For me, it's more of the same stuff. Yeah, it's... I would, I would widen your feet a touch. Okay. And even I would put... Even for a little 45 -er. Yeah, just to give you enough platform to lean left. So if you went really close... Okay, and people just flare that out massively. I love that. But just try something for me. This is for people to try at home. If you go really close and then try and, oh, lean, yeah, and, try and lean left, you can't, right? Yeah, yeah. So I like three club heads. Roughly three club heads. Flare that out a touch. And then just feel like there's weight on your... So you feel like your sternum's about three inches in front of the ball. Slight bit of shaft lean. Good. Okay, feel like you stay there and do the same swing. Stay forwards, still fell back a little bit. So that was better, forget the um, outcome. Look, that was 1.9 after 2.4 down, but still not enough. Okay. So one thing you could do is play the ball on the right side of your body. Play it a hair further back in your stance, just to help you. So a bit further back. So feel it's like under your right pec, yeah? Yeah. Like Weight literally, forward. Literally inside. Weight forward, handle forward slightly. Okay, stay there and turn through. Turn your chest to the target. A bit better, but you didn't turn. Yeah, I can actually yeah. feel so it. I'm going to give that, you the yeah. sensation I want you to create, right? So the setup was great, but you're going into extension too early. So if you stand there for a sec, as you're coming down, you set it up in a good position. You're going this way, so you're pushing your hips forward right. rather than turning. So just feel like, very simply, when you're in this position, so ball on the right side of your body, weight distribution left side, slight little bit of shaft lean. As you come in through, feel like you turn your chest to the target a bit more rather than push your hips under. You're turning your chest to where you want the ball to go. Yeah, and you'll see on mine there, look, nine down. Six. Nine. But you wouldn't take a massive difference with that. It's just an attack angle down. It's still shallow at the bottom. It's just a slightly steeper attack angle. And then turn and face. Good, do that again and take some practice swings where you're brushing the ground here. See the club, brush the ground forward. So turn your belly button, perfect. You feel that? Mm. I love that on the course as well for you. T brush the ground in front. Turn. Lovely. Try and execute that now. Wait on your left. Turn and brush the ground in front. Forget the distance for a moment. Just work on, work on the strike. Way better. Perfect. Do you feel the difference on the way through? Yeah. I feel like it's quite lower. Six down, 5.4 after. Lovely. Look at the carry. 45. Perfect. Perfect. Exactly what you said that club would go. Yeah. So I think, and I'm a massive advocate of this on chipping and pitching, for sure. Yeah. Take a couple of practice swings when you're rehearsing your hip to hip feel and just make sure that you can see that club brushing the ground ahead of it. For you there, the one thing we said is, even if you position your weight on your left, if you go this way with your hips, the spine's gonna wanna back out of it. Okay. You're always gonna struggle with that. So turn the chest almost over the left hip on the way through. Turn that over your left hip on your practice swing. Turn over the left hip. Good. And you feel how your chest is more forward, a bit more, so do it, slow it down. Brush the ground up there. Love it. Like Almost that. nearly fall over. Okay, so widen your feet. I'd rather feet. go that way than this I'd one. rather that, but just widen your feet a touch to give you a bit more of a solid foundation. Okay. Widen your left, good. Handle forward. Now, turn your chest forward. Same swing. Just nice and smooth. Much better. Two in a row. Yeah. Have a look. There you go. 4.4 after 5.6 down, 44 yards, one yard difference. Yeah, swear. Because you're controlling the low points. So same, like for you, the last two lessons, hammering home, same drum, low point, low point, low point. Yeah. Because that gives you the same launch conditions, same, <coughs> more likely to get the same distance, same spin rates. So why is it going right? Well, at the moment, just keep, just keep turning. Don't worry about that yet, one thing at a time. Okay, so a bit more wire out a bit. Okay, weren't too bad. Let's have a look at the numbers. Face was touch open. There you go, path is now zero. Tack angle, that's really good numbers. Face is a touch open, but I love it. Mm, tiny bit before it. Yeah, a little bit. Not before, I mean earlier, right, look, it's a, it's, it's a lot better. So now look at this. 
So your path's now at zero, where a minute ago it was at five, yep. so it's straighter. Your low point on a bad one is four down. Your first one was 0.4 down. Okay. So it just means that summer conditions, you know, you're going to expose more bounce, you get away with it, because it's going to bounce a little bit. Yeah. In this weather now, <laughs> don't want that. you don't want that. For me, when I'm taking a, if I'm doing my ladder swivel, right? So say if I was going for 50 yards, I would do some continuation of swings working on tempo. So I'll be going, for me, 50 yards is hip. So I'll be going hip, hip, hip. And all I'm doing here is focus on tempo getting some spatial awareness of where the handle is and making it continuation. Then when I go into the ball, I'm genuinely trying to just replicate that. Yeah. So I'm not, a lot of people will go like, we'll measure it hip to hip and then they'll go hip, hip. Well, that's not gonna go hip to hip, yeah. you know what I mean? So it's trying to keep that tempo constant. So I think when you, yes, you can see where you're hitting the ground, but also focus on tempo when you're doing that. So we go a little bit higher now. So what number are we going for? 55? Um, well, 55 would be like ribs. So we can, we can go through it if you want to show everyone yeah, yeah. ribs. You just hit the 45 when you did it right. So let's just make, take a practice swing first, mate. Ground interaction piece. So it's rib, rib. Good. Oh, yeah, do the tempo. Couple more. Yeah, do a few more like continuous ones. Just watch where you're brushing the ground every time. One, turn. Good. One, a bit early, turn more. There you go. See, when you turn the chest more, it, it does it for you. Yeah. Okay, that's your feeling, right? And you'll feel when you turn the chest. Can you feel how you're, instead of your chest doing this, this way, pointing over there, it kind of faces the target a lot earlier, yeah? And that's your feeling. Just turn your body where you want the ball to go. So rib to rib. Touch early. Touch. 4.8 down, 54, well done. 54, one yard off. Just see it as like tolerance, right? If you can get your low point somewhere with pitch shots, yeah. somewhere like four or after, you've got a little bit of leeway. Where if it's one or two, you've just got no leeway at all. Bit more forward, that's it. Love that, love it. Okay, and you, on your practice, I don't know if you can feel this, you almost look like you're going, you're just allowing your body to fall left, I love it, it looks great. It's a natural thing, yeah, love that. That was early. Yeah. Yep, perfect. Oh, that was a great goal shot. Watch the numbers on the low point there. It's gonna be over four, perfect. Six. Over, no, 4.5. And 45 yards, exactly. Strikes so much better. Did you hit 65? Oh, 59. Look at the numbers though. Yeah, good. Zero on the path now, 5.2 after. What I'm saying is even though that was a few yards short, okay, you can recalibrate the distance as you work through it because yeah. you're thinking of other stuff, but it's so much better in terms of contact, right? Strikes so much better. Oh, that's gone 65. Yeah, so, that, so it is that, but again, did you, I don't know if you felt this, but that was slightly brisker tempo, slightly, which I like, by the way. Yeah, it was a bit yeah. faster, wasn't it? So, well, so that's fine. So then, you, like I said before, tempo changes. As long as it's constant, it doesn't matter. Yeah. God, oh, that strike is so much better. 75? Yeah, it should be. 77, we'll take that. Four feet long. Look at the path now. Zero, four inches after, five degrees down. Well, you've got a tempo put from 75 yards. Yeah. I think that was a close house, and I was just, it was just a bit over here again. So I put it back to like, just down the golf pride. And it just helps me. It just yeah, you just squares it up. Just strengthened it a little, yeah. All right, let's have a look at, so would you say if anything then, if That's anything- The, the only bad shot, let's say, if people have watched that Four Brothers video or whatever, or some of them, Jimmy video, Slight probably overplayed. did have it a bit of thumb because it was kind of after that lesson. It wasn't far after the BMW and stuff, and the Madders thing and all that, and it was really good. And then it literally, as that thumb just creeped over, my bad shot was like, it wasn't a fear anymore. It was like, I was hitting it. the face too much. See it, getting in trees, getting in trouble. All right, well, let's see you make a few swings and let's see where we're at. Very good, but <laughs> okay, carry on. I also struggle to hit them in here, don't I? How that feel? Low, but all right. Half is one degree from the inside, face to path's really good. Well, your club path zero, your face is just a bit open on that one, yeah. so that could be grip. Let me have a look for face on. So again, look at your path. You like to play neutral. It's, zero, it's every time between one and zero. Yeah. Just two point eight degrees open. It's just a fierce time. Just like yeah. so that if it's just that, that's just get the right hand a little bit stronger, or do the same takeaway feel. Again, when you sometimes do this, right? 
the face will get a little bit more open, won't it? If you roll it on the inside. I should go that way. Yeah, but think about it. Because the club's longer, the more the, the shaft plane is different, right? So as you come down, if this was on this angle, but I was to reduce the length of the shaft, this would never look as open. So it's more exaggerated as you get further away from the head. Yeah. So yeah, that's why with a driver, you might leak it to the right. It's very common to see people like push fade a driver and then be able to hit a seven iron with a draw. And that's simply because of the orientation of where that is relative to you. So you just want to feel in the takeaway that you're a bit more there instead of there. So and that'll give you, that'll set the face a little bit stronger for you. And that, that should be enough. I mean, you were talking at one or two degrees here. You don't need to make a change. Yeah. It's a, it's a development, if anything. So if you want to get rid of the right shot, I would say maybe strengthen that right hand as you pointed out yourself. Don't let it get too far over. Yeah, just on the golf pro. And then just feel like, here's a simple feel. Like, yeah, feel like the club head face looks at the ball for longer. Yeah, yeah. it's a very simple thought. Because if you do your roll, right? You notice how the club face starts to look away from the ball. Yeah, so I've been going wider, but I've just got a bit of a... Yeah, so that's slightly on the open side. So just try and keep it looking at the I ball. I was doing the because the irons felt easier. Yeah, just do that. <laughs> yep. That'll probably just go left, will it? I think it's pretty straight. Maybe a little draw. Yeah, tiny. There yeah, you that go. Feel, that actually feels a lot easier, to be fair. Look at the distance. Jumped up, 300. Oh, that's it's going to go left, yeah. Trying to kill it. That's you it? hanging back. <laughs> so that's nothing to do with the swing, by the way. That's you hanging back. It's still it's it. That's all right. Yeah. That was better. It's better, yeah. It's gonna, your face was good. It's passed a little bit more from the inside. It's going to draw back. Oh, nice, yeah. Again, it's a slight draw swing. So all you've basically, don't, don't even overthink this, right? All you've basically said here is, instead of, same as the irons, instead of allowing it to come in here, which is getting the face orientation slightly open, just keep it a bit more passive. Yeah. A bit more looking at the ball. That's it. And you're not, you're not playing, you're not hitting it, driving it bad enough to start overthinking things. That's it, it will feel more, now see how it feels like it's more outside the hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's not even a big adjustment, tiny. And that's, the good thing is it's quite uniform through the whole bag. At the moment, same thing. Yeah, yeah. In the same three thing. Wood. Same thing. thing. Right, and that is what like I said, that's what we call a golf MOT, absolutely amazing. Um, I think the ladder drill stuff is really interesting for you lot to see. Um, that is my, like I said, 45, 55, 65, 75 yard shot. And even though I'm doing it well on the course, couple of inches out can make a massive difference for a thin and a fat and just not getting that that strike every time driver again i was just getting a bit inside it was just leaking a bit right so i've sorted that and then irons again we're getting a few what's the irons again what's Puff. oh yeah the puff Puff. was getting a bit inside same yeah thing. same thing it was just, I, I was keeping my left arm straight and going wide but the club was coming in as i was going wide so i just need to be a little bit careful to go wide but keep my hands a bit um a bit less Quiet, huh? yeah, yeah, quiet and less roly. But yeah, amazing lesson, good little MOT. And um, get in the comments if you enjoyed it. We'll see you soon.